Um, I'd like to open the Open Space Committee meeting at 7 o'clock on January 13th, and 2020, and we are being videoed. Okay, and did everybody read the, the last two minutes? Changes to be made that anyone noted? Um, I'll just take them one at a time. September 16th, 2019 meeting. I move we accept the September 16th, 2019 minutes. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And the November 25th, 2019 minutes. So the only, let me think. Oh, number five. Mm -hmm. oh, that was kind of confusing. <laughs> yes, I know. And that's why I just want, so. I'm not, I, I guess we did move to recommend to pass on the right of first refusal, but the selectmen had already signed off on it. So in fact, there was no business for us to do. And I just want that reflected in the minutes somehow. So um, how would we change it? So we say like, like leave the part in about how like the property was discussed and how it wants to be changed was then say like the board had moved to pass and I'm just gonna leave it at that. No. Um Oh just uh, after after I guess after all said I say that I I protest or I protested the need to even the need to yeah the need the to even vote bring because up. the selectmen yeah. had already uh, conducted that business. Okay. It was, it was so that what we did was moot. Mm. They're supposed to do it last mm -hmm. after they take the recommendations of the other boards and committees. Yeah. So if I add that part at the end, <coughs> yeah. do you want to see the minutes like again with this No, change? just as, okay. as, as uh, modified. God, I can't mm -hmm. find the words. Mm -hmm. Do other um, bullets on the minutes need any changes? I'm good. I move where you uh, accept the minutes of November 25th, 2019. So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are accepted. Right now we are on to the questionnaire to be reviewed. <laughs> So Becky did a great job of this formatting because I just don't have, didn't have the time. I wanted to just push the button and have Google do it, but that wasn't working out. So I have a copy here too. Oh, okay. And, and I have a copy here. here. I also brought my copy of just the comments. Mm -hmm. So. So is one? Doesn't. Is this like you you want it and you don't want it, or is this like you don't want it? And you don't want it? No, this is. Um, like on the one one through five. five, the one through four were not important. So four is like it's not important. Not important. Oh, okay. Yeah, one is the most. Yeah. It seemed like a pretty good review. You know, a lot of people wanted liked what they liked what we have and everything. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a mixture of of uh, questions as far as formatting goes, which gets a little. Mm -hmm. It's not just, <coughs> so it's like versus dislike and yes versus a no, and then you've got the multiple options. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, 
sometimes visually it's easier to see what's going on, like here, um, or new facilities needed, 12 dot, so out of yes. 92, is that what I said? We had 97. 85 plus 12. 97. You know, but everybody doesn't answer the, the question mm -hmm. necessarily, but here it's 21. Um, Water in a building. No, that's water sports, I think. It says new recreation center building. Oh, you're right. Only okay. five people want yep. the water sports. But then, um, so anyway, you can see that works that way. So I guess the there climbing wall kind of blew me away. Like people want that? Hell no. 54 people says sufficient as is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means they don't <laughs> want it. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about yeah, it. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of people yeah so want this sort of goes backwards, whereas the beginning is not, and then. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's sufficient. So, yeah. <laughs> so you want to look at those last ones, new facilities needed or, or more are needed. Mm -hmm. 17 want a public swimming area. Yeah. Seems like a lot of people want kind of like a town residence beach. Yeah, that was oh, the yeah, comments. Was a lot of yeah. On the comments, yep. And you have to specifically live here. Not while I'm like. <laughs> I think, isn't there a section that the people who live at Wall yes, Lake? Yes, the terrace. Yeah. yeah. They have their private beach. Mm. I'm definitely interested in the community garden. Oh, okay, yep, great. Yeah, I'm going to take a copy of that one. I email this to everybody. Oh, okay. But, so. Um. so maybe we could just review it and figure out what things are priorities. Yeah, just the higher mm -hmm. numbers and the mm -hmm. and see. If Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the back, like you see, that more people people would really appreciate having what's available on the town website. Right, and nobody yeah, wants that maps. Was huge. Yeah, that was I'm like, they want it on their phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then the question is, do we, you know, do we present this to the selectmen, and or is there a way to write it, some of it up so that people see what the results right, the, are? Right. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to give feedback as far as what you know. We ask mm -hmm. the questions. Mm -hmm. What did everybody else say? And right. Maybe make an article in the newspaper or something like that. With the yep. Do we have someone that manages our town website? Like someone must kind of put it together and maintain it, right? Mm -hmm. So, if that was the case, you know, if we put submitted in information to them, mm -hmm. they could put it up there for the public. We could just put give it to cable. Yeah, too. I don't know if it's cable or community yeah. development. Yeah. It might be community development. We're part under that department, mm -hmm. so maybe they could, whoever that does it for them would be able to put some stuff up. But we would have to give them the, the materials. Yeah. yeah. Put it all together. Right. Definitely big support for. Um, only to conserve open space and protect the rural qualities of the town. Mm -hmm. yeah. And supporting mandatory mandatory dedication of open space by developers. Yep. I like the comment where the woman was like, I would never go to Martin Road. I would never go to that playground. It's out in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> Which it was really middle, but that's all depends on where you came yeah, from. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, it is, I mean, I could see the developers ha putting a swing set in or something like that at a... Uh, well, I think if you go up there with your kids alone, it can feel very mm -hmm. isolated. Yeah, it's the long path yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. But, get but together I think, yeah, that other question <laughs> is really good to share with folks, and as well as what kind of new facilities yeah. people might be looking yeah. for. Neighborhood parks and trails, that was more needed. That was that was high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of what we're trying to do with the trails is make it accessible to yep. neighborhoods. Yep. No, it's good. This was there's a lot of people that are not aware of what's available in town. I'm surprised about that. Well, now we, that goes back to the website. What else mm -hmm. can we put up there? Or yeah. 
you know, and if we, I don't know, it's like every once in a while do a walk or something. <coughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Who would know about the website? Like, should we ask Suzanne? <coughs> like, does she know who she might takes know. care of it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you see the breakout of the uh, the towns yeah. that I matched mm -hmm. up with the zip codes? I'm like, okay. Yeah, I gave Lisa the list yep. for that. And a lot of them are, we're Sutton, right? This is two that makes Sutton. sense. Okay. One in Athol, 61 Douglas, one in East Princeton, one in Millbury, one Northridge, one Grafton, one Oxford, one. I'm from Oxbridge, both from Webster. We just saw on New Year's Day, we were out for our annual New Year's Day ride, we ran into two people that were from Oxbridge, and this was the first time that they had been out here on the railroad bed. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And we had a great time. And it worked out great, because I took our picture. I said, you mind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Athol, like, north? Yeah, yes, like New Hampshire, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, Western. Okay. <laughs> Must have been just visiting for the day, or maybe they. Well, some of the, maybe that they might used to live here. That might be the Midstate Trail too, because. Um, um, right. Or they might have relatives here. Who knows? But yeah. Mm -hmm. People might start in like Webster, Thompson, Burville, and they might cross over. Well, the Midstate yeah. starts here in Douglas. Yeah. I mean, like in general, like in the whole state yep. forest, you know, there's no town lines. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't thought about there's no place to park, put your bike. Yeah. There's no place to. A tree. <laughs> I don't know. Bicycle parking. Yeah. But if you're out at the forest, too, there's, I mean, there's trees. Yeah. Yeah, there's a tree. Or like one of the posts, like put mm -hmm. it off to the side. Yeah, they did just put a couple in down here. Yeah, there's enough stuff around. I don't think that is strange, but I can see that the horse trailer parking is a big, big one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants gravel and Wallace Street parking lot. Actually, we're working with DCR right now mm -hmm. to um, expand that parking lot. Yeah. And get the whole thing fixed. Which one? Up on Wall Street. Oh, yeah. That's really, I mean, besides the, the, the railroad beds, I guess certain streets have the, the South Street has the nice parking lot. And yeah, South Street and Depot. Mm -hmm. But for the forest proper, the only one on the north side for parking is Wall Street. Because yeah. mm -hmm. the, the north gate is too small. Um, you want a bridge trail, yeah. you can't, you wouldn't tar be able to turn around with a trailer. Yeah, that's good for the mountain bikers and hikers and yeah. stuff like that, but we have a trailer parking that's in the, that Wall Street parking lot. It's, yeah. People out there all the time, all the time. Yep. It's just, I've never seen so many people in that parking lot all the time. It's like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. There was a whole crew there from um, Rhode Island on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a big yeah. trailer and stuff like that. At yeah. the lake on Saturday, too. A bunch of people meeting. So, and that's what, I mean, that, that woman that's afraid to bring, or whoever's afraid to bring their kids to the playground should just meet up with people, you know, and that's that was a question in here, right? Yeah, the group activities. I was actually kind of surprised that there wasn't as much. It was very little yeah. interest. But yeah, very little. Uh, group activity, so. 35 that thought it was sufficient, 35 that was like an even thing, I thought um, more is needed and 15 for a new facility, so. Maybe people like kind of go with their friends if they want to and right. they don't feel the need to like meet new people. Mm -hmm. They have it under control, I guess. Yeah. I've seen you walking areas, that was at 39. Well, if you look at the ages that Mm -hmm. Where was right. that one? So it was, I think it was pretty heavily. 645 to 64. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. We didn't works. capture a lot of, yeah. like, young parents at all. Mm. A lot of younger people can't afford to buy, like, a house. So that's why we probably have more. There's not, like, a ton of rental property here so it's like homeowners and by the time you have enough money to afford a house you're probably in your yeah. mid 30s or something. Yeah. Well, 
successful. 96, seven people is not a whole lot, but something. Yep. I don't want to care enough. Right. I'll take the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, it gives you some data to, you know, if we pick one or two of these things that we want to move forward with, then mm -hmm. you could always get into another layer of data collection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why not, so. You want me to just go, go through it and come up with some sure. things? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's pretty bad. Ours is really bad. It's so lame. Actually, I think I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one that put something in there that's written. Even. Yeah, is, is she or the community development, I think, yeah. has been doing that. But check with her. Even conservation area sign. Did you get um, talk to anybody about that? Or? I think I can just go do that. Do what? To, to yeah. You were going to talk to Steve Ziz. I was going to do it, then you were going to do it. No, oh, and I did. I've been talking to him numerous times, and that was just like out of my brain. Well, then it says I was going to do it. <coughs> Any projects? I'm still on here for. I'm still on the hook for that. So. <laughs> oh boy, I forgot to do that. Never. Just brings it up for us, right? We had the holidays, all those yeah. gifts to make. <laughs> Not speaking Not. of the, uh, the, the Keaton property, I have a question to ask you. Um, the abutter was chatting with me about, you know, going to be clearing the, the big existing trails, some of the older existing trails that haven't been used at all. And she said, was wondering if, like, down the line, um, to making connections and mm -hmm. loops yeah. and stuff like that. I says, well, one, I said it would have to be surveyed or something just to make sure we stay on town property. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, two, and I says, I, I says, I'm not sure if that would be an ask of the Open Space Committee or if that would have to go to the Conservation Commission. I said, I thought maybe the Conservation Commission, if there was wetlands or something involved. Other than that, I don't know. But if it's just trails. Yeah, we were going to look at who owned who were the abutters, and maybe they could tell us where the where their boundaries were, you know? Most people don't, don't know. know where they're, honestly, they don't. Yeah. I think there's, it's a possible, like, if they had, didn't someone build a shed? So, like, they would have wanted to make sure the shed was on their property no, so they I might don't. have a survey. No. No. But, I mean, we could even just GPS the points for the bounds without having a total survey so that at least we could mark the corners or whatever to say, you know, don't go beyond this. Mm -hmm. Which would at least reduce costs, I don't know. Yeah, between the splitting of the rock and everything. But um, I'll ask Steve about that. Because I think that's, so that parcel probably didn't get surveyed. It probably is just the remainder and the rest of the parcels were surveyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you would think the town would want to keep their boundaries surveyed and marked. I know like the Douglas State Forest, yeah. every so many years they go out there and mark yeah. them once they know them to keep them. But I just didn't know if there's anybody in council that does that. I don't know if the town needs surveying for any, anything or anything like that. I have some people that they typically use something like <coughs> that. Let's I mean, it's not like it's a budding a project, so that would be a whole, that's a whole separate. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I combine part of that with the school. Mm -hmm. Unless they do it all in one day. 
and saves you like a mobilization cost. Just mm -hmm. mobilizing this. Because, um, okay, so I'm going to skip number five here for a second. I'm going to merge into pattern mm -hmm. number six. Mm -hmm. um, with that, Wellman. So the axis point here to Wellman Brook, there's some further developments on that that's going to be happening. So I'm, I'm holding off on pursuing this for right now. Mm -hmm. We do have another axis here. Okay. So that would make it a lot simpler to have this project and in, include the surveying, get these trails marked out and get them connected and get this connector in here also. That's, where is this? That's a different one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're the one that showed me this other piece. Oh, okay. She <laughs> told me, hey, Becky, there's another, uh, another parcel. Oh, yeah, um, that's right, yeah. On this map, but yeah, you're the one that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprise! I don't trust myself at all anymore. <laughs> oh no, you know, must edge. have been. Uh, well, I was looking at it. Yeah. I just okay. okay. That's the. Okay, that's the moment. Yeah, yeah well, I'm look one. So I don't know. It's this one right here, parcel number 26. still it'd be a mo more cost effective a project right not having to worry about this right now to make the access here which will be closer to the people at town to if they mm -hmm. in this neighborhood and whatnot if they want to come and take a walk and go mm -hmm. through in there yep and then put the other one on hold for now. yep that's off monroe street martin, martin. martin. do you want to go look at that sometime martin number 26 I don't know, it's in between the two houses, and I just, yeah, just figure it out sometimes. Yeah, yeah we could. I have to pull up a close-up on that to see what the, mm -hmm. the width is, and just to see where it gets you going in the back here. What, um, what is this pulled from? Um, I did this overlay, I got it from the um, Os Oliver, Oliver GIS. Happy thing that I had a heck of a time. This is about as close as I could get to sizing this over a um, a Google map. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you might you might look up that parcel on um, the assessor's mapping, mm -hmm. and then see do a comparison, see what it looks like. Because you can do a, a wetlands and stuff with the assessor's maps too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a better idea is to try to do something there first and then. So it could make it a combination project right. where we get surveying involved here. Also have the Keevan property surveyed at the same time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But I'll find out from. Okay. I'll find out from Steve when it was last surveyed. <laughs> if it was at all, or if it doesn't frontage parcels were just taken out of it, mm -hmm. and then the remainder just isn't the remainder. Okay. Is that it for the school property? And no, the Paulette land, is that? Um, mm -hmm. just going to the, I don't know anything about the Paulette. Yeah. That was, it had to be with the, the tax assessor to find yep. out yep. the status of that's that, right. and I did not. Right. That's right. Um, and I forgot to talk to him about the workshop, so. Yep. You know, I talked to them. I didn't. I f totally forgot that. So, my fault. Okay. All right. You go back to five then. Wallen Lake property. So I was. I don't know where I saw this, but um, there's there's a piece of property. I thought you got a card. Right in the mail. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, right on the Rhode Island border. It's probably in here. That 
is for sale that's got a beach and that's like four four plus acres yeah yeah because like it was two pieces moved back together and it was going for four hundred and seventy-five or something like that thousand mm dollars -hmm. so it would give the town a beach i think it's the old gbi beach Sure, it says, the sign there says, for association members only. But it's not the one where the terrace, the terrace. No, no, it's hard. No. This is literally on the line. Of the no. line. So it's, it's really far for people to, mm -hmm. you know, if, if the population of the town majority is in the east, you know, and this is on the far <coughs> southwest corner. Well, if people want this I'm beach, we there. need to put it yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And then this, I mean, well, some of this is going to be the solar farm that's coming down into here. But well, it's right, but it's not. It is the map. It's board, right on the line. Yeah. is associated with it. So, yeah, this is, it's interesting. They have the, the road in for mm -hmm. the dyer property. This is going to be the solar farm. But, hmm. so, so, you know, would, is it something we want to bring up at the town meeting and see if people are interested in buying that property? and? Utilizing this for a community garden or something, or playground and um, parking, boat trailer, leave your boat trailer there or whatever. Yeah. Well, I think we should go see it first. Yeah, I I drive by it. Yeah. So signs up there now. Is this like kind of an urgent matter? So if it's for sale now, like anybody could come and buy it. Right. So we don't want if we we really wanted the town to buy it, we wouldn't want someone else to kind of snatch it away. Well, it's been for sale for a while. Mm -hmm. The sign hasn't been up for that long. Mm -hmm. I think it was just when I gave you that flyer. It was like just November. End of November. So we want to call the real estate agent and get a walk on it. Yeah. I think we have to we have to Laura start Heeb. thinking a little bit about the you know the town's 36 square miles. No matter where you put something, it's going to be too far for somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that. It would be great if we could have some facilities in each quadrant. Mm -hmm. right. So, but you don't have a lake in each quadrant, right. so yeah. you don't you don't know when the next lake property will be for sale. Right, and yeah. people have all the responses about we don't go to all the lake in the summer, you know, and all that stuff. They wish wish it, they could go there or in the reservoir, but so that would be like a crowded. pitch that as a town only beach. Great. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it could be, like Sue says, it could be multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put a playground over there. Kids get sick of the beach. It, it isn't a huge beach, you know. It's room or something. It's the whole town on it. Yeah. But it's going to be something. Yeah. Right, people like to go at different times of the day. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it's and town it only, so you don't have, just anybody can go. Mm -hmm. That cuts down a lot of people. So who's going to police it, though? And oh. well, how well how does the terrace get policed? It's private ownership. It's um. all private. So some like town. Everybody knows everybody probably if they're not, you know, someone they don't recognize or they can't park. Well, I guess they do drive down there and park. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but you need a you can make a buy a sticker to get to get there or something like that. Or if you can prove your address, you get a sticker. Well, that's down the line. We should, yeah. we yeah. should see if it's even is. Right. <laughs> no, it's not changed the color of the sand yet. Is this the town meeting? You said the annual <coughs> meeting's in May. Right. Right. So, but would we bring it up before then? Well, it, the warrant closes in March. Okay probably the beginning of March, so we'd have to move pretty quickly if that was something we wanted to do, because it has to, there's a, I think there's a way you could get it on, but it's, it's better if it's on the warrant from the beginning. 
But it'd be easy to say, like, could we put it on, and then if we decided after the walk you didn't want to do it, could you, like, take it off just so we can get on there really soon? I think we should see it first. Yeah, day, days aren't going to matter. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you still have the card? I can just drive by the sign and write down the number. I have it somewhere, but... Yeah. I think it's Laura. Yeah. yeah. But I don't really remember what the... Oh, it's online, too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yep. So I'll call. Um, any special time anybody wants to tour? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you around on weekends? Uh, weekends would be better for me. Yeah. yeah. Um... Like a Saturday or Sunday morning or something? Yeah. Right. Sunday morning's okay, or you go to church? Sunday morning's good. Yeah, I'm, I usually have something till like 11. On Sunday? Mm -hmm. oh. How much do you just send an email with time and date, and if I'm free, I'll be there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's done on pretty much, right? Yep. And now the tax taking workshop. You were gonna, what, Lisa, gonna call. Yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, yeah. I was even in the office and I totally forgot. So. Yeah. Any new business, or we have enough business? <laughs> there is enough business. <laughs> well, I want to share that. Um, I don't. But there's a large 40 plus acres of property off of, in, off of Oak Street and it's agricultural and there's a proposal coming up to put in solar panels. So I wanted to make you all aware that there's a presentation and I'll send you the flyer but um, it it's supposed to be the 23rd, Thursday the 23rd. January. Yeah, uh, 6 to 8 in the, in the, in the uh, resource room, I think it is. And the, uh, the solar company's Blue Wave. But I'll send you the flyer. This you, is I, it might just be interesting from the... You know, it sounds like there's, there are several projects in town besides the two that we just permitted, so it would be good just for us to come up to speed on what's going on and how we're competing with Did solar you read the generation. thing that, that Gordon sent about growing things underneath the solar panels? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Did, did you need pollinators? Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. yeah, and you can also... The, in Menden, the same company put in um, an operation, and the panels are slightly higher so that they can graze sheep under them. Mm. Interesting. So I don't know how successful they've been with that. But that's the, the thing is, it's, this is fields and, and some forest, and it's open space, so it's chapter property, and I don't quite know what that means yet, so. Because mm -hmm. solar is a change of use. Right. It's not I agriculture. Know, I'm making, I just read something in the Farm Bureau about they're working on trying to classify solar as a, f um, a farm agriculture type thing. Because there's so many farmers that want to do that to oh. diversify their income. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it diversifies their income, but there are there can be you know, then it locks up their property for 20 years or depending on what they've been using it for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, depending on the le on the agreement. Sometimes they sell, sometimes they lease. I don't know that it's really a good combination with cows either, is it? That's, I know the town of Warren voted not to have solar because the, the, the cattle farmers are against it totally. Hmm. Well, that's funny, when I put in my solar panel, but I've got mine, it's Mine's a tracking unit. Right, okay. but this is like 30, 40 acres of panels, yeah. on, on ground panels. Because I could have I put that out back and with the horses and it would not have been an issue. Mm -hmm. But that's one. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the ar you know the arrays that you see along the yeah. highway and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. So. That would be interesting. Anyway, if, yeah. If there was any interest, I'll send it along. So I the next meeting, of course, is the third Monday. Again, it's a holiday. <laughs> Martin oh. Luther King Day. It's not in February. No, no, that's what's January. February? Oh, President's, President's Day. President's Day? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. So that's why I so said well, either second. before or yeah, after. I don't know. I think that works for me. The 10th is the second. Yeah. Was it, uh, was it right on the holiday? Um, I thought President's Day was the 12th. Mm -hmm. It might, well, I don't know, but it's been the... Oh, it's the 17th. Yeah, so that's the, that's the that's third, the so that's why we'd make it the 10th, okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Who knows what's going to happen by the 10th? <laughs> Um, a little long-term planning, this is not really long-term, but um, was it, is it April 20th or 22nd? It's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, so I don't know if we wanted to, I don't want to do a cleanup or something else, but yeah, the streets in town are absolutely horrendous. I cannot believe how this dies. And the, uh, sloppy people are. Marijuana containers are the new nips. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm. So those all over the side of the road? Yeah. Little plastic containers. Uh -huh. Top one. Yeah. I, I don't need that. No. But anyway, maybe there's something we could partner with others or whatever. Yeah, that's a reminder. the way, I mean, that group <coughs> was great. Mm -hmm. that we did. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, meeting adjourned at seven thirty eight.